What I'm going to do today is plaster cast some of these interesting bottles that I've got here. These were found in the garden and this one is Foster Clark Limited Maidstone and it has Eiffel Tower lemonade inside. This bottle contained poison and it actually says poisonous on it. The indication that poison is inside the bottle is these vertical lines and you can feel them. And down the side are notched increments and they measure tablespoons and it actually says tablespoons there so you can measure the quantity of poison that you require. So that's going to be an interesting one to cast. I've got another poison bottle here. This one's quite attractive. It's a nice octagonal shape. It's got the raised vertical lines that you can feel. Um, and it also says not to be taken. So it would have had a nasty substance inside there. This one here doesn't have any indication marks on it so that would have had a safer substance inside perhaps it was an oil bottle of some sort but that's a rather nice one lovely green color and this one that I've got here is very attractive but it does have indentations and that's going to make it difficult to cast because they're going to create undercuts and that's not going to be easy to release that from the mould. So I won't be able to cast that one, but what I will do is keep that aside for inspiration for another time and possibly do some thrown versions of it or some hand-built versions of it. So that's there for inspiration. But for casting, what you need to do is watch out for any areas of an object that are going to make it difficult to release from the mould. The plaster that I'm going to be using is fine casting plaster and it has to be in date. If it's old it won't work. It doesn't seem to set properly and it doesn't heat up. You need that reaction, that chemical reaction of it heating up. I've tried other plasters in the past and haven't had good results with it and you'll find that you know if you have a builder's type plaster that won't work it's not any good so a fine casting plaster is the best option and it's important to wear a respirator there is actually a notice on here that says wear a respirator any dust in the atmosphere in ceramics is hazardous to health so that's something to watch out for and be protected when measuring out any dry powdered substances. So we'll have a go at some of these bottles and see how we get on. 